Then we have an extra special little kind of crafty uh, tablescaping session that we would like to share with you. As we go through our houses, um, before we list them, we many times hire a stager or stage the homes ourselves. But one of the things is how to evoke that emotion or create like a beautiful setting that somebody walks mm -hmm. in and goes, oh, this is so pretty. And just create like a feeling of peace and calm. So we thought we'd do a little tablescaping session where we would just give some tips or ideas for people that just want to know how to create a centerpiece that just has some element of, you know, creates joy yeah. and happiness in a room. And, and and it can be really easy. It can be, you don't need to necessarily go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, we have some kind of go-to things that we pull together, but um, yeah, it's it's great to mix and match those things throughout the seasons as well and create something new. Yes, I love that point because yeah, a lot of these things are either recycled or found or what, so we'll kind of talk through that because I used to go out and buy all these mm -hmm. great features to put on my tables and then anyway, yeah. So now I'm a little more into that. Let's figure out how to recycle some stuff so well magically the table is going to come into view yes so oh. we have three different pieces here <clears throat> okay so i think it, when you look at different magazines or catalogs a lot of times you see i always see books as the theme. And so each one of the things that we're going to look at today has some type of book on it. And well, if you're like me, you probably have a lot of books in your house. I know you do. I yeah. know you do. And so there's so many things you can do with the different books you own. These happen to be books that um, just were recycled or gotten out of garage sales. And so they just happen to be bigger. And then I just got this beautiful ceramic base that was just left at a house. And then <laughs> we put in some, you could put in fresh flowers if you wanted. But since we're kind of in that fall, winter time, we went with a little bit of dried look. And these you dried from your yard even, right? I, you know what? I got these at a little um, a little flower post. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But so they're real dried. Yep, hydrangeas. real dried hydrangeas. And I love the books that you picked um, with the colors. That's one thing that catches my eyes, eye is the different colors. Yeah, thank you. And I actually did this at a house recently that sold. I did not have the antler there because this is new to me, but I have always wanted an antler. So these are a shed from a deer. Um, and so I just think it brings like a beautiful nature element, mm -hmm. kind of a little. It's very sculptural. It is. Yeah, I, I think. think that's a great way to describe mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah, so just. Anyway, kind of a fun little yeah. element. And then uh, Beth just found these fabulous candles, which actually have a real, um, they look like a real ember on the yeah. end. These are from Costco. Costco. Yeah, it's a set of six or seven. I mean, it was $25, so they're at Costco now, and they're LED. Um, so the great thing for home and staging is you won't be burning out down your home or yeah. client's home, which is fantastic. And they have this little glow it's two beautiful. of them, they actually look like real can. They feel like real candles they look as well. Amazing. I know. I love them. I'm a little mesmerized. So I'm going <laughs> to try to. I'm going to try and move this to the side. We'll okay, start. Do you want me to move this? We can start with the next one. So. Do you want me to grab the next one? We can probably just leave them. Okay. Here, I got this one. All right. More books. I love it. Oops, oh, sorry. That's beautiful. And this kind of has a little bit of a bunch of different elements. It's just a tray. You don't have to have a tray. I just like a tray because sometimes I have to move it because I have a pet that sometimes gets into my, you know, plant stuff. Um, this is just literally a, um, oh, look, there are realtor cards in there. Um, <laughs> just uh, some greenery from like Michael's or Mulbach's and then just a glass nice vase jar. that just stuck some greenery in. And then again, these books are just either from um, garage sales or recycled. But the part that I hunt for now is colors. And mm -hmm. so I love to put yeah. colors of books together. Yeah, I love that. I think I've seen that at your house because you do yeah. that. Yeah, I kind of obsess about it matching my <laughs> my, my decor. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. But blame my yes. mother. But 
Well, <laughs> and you said you had a great idea too. You actually wrap them sometimes. Sometimes, oh. like yeah, like this last um, spring, I was really into the fresh, um, like the tangerine clementine uh -huh. color, and I didn't have any books that color, so I just got um, a piece, couple of different pieces of paper from uh, Michael's uh -huh. and I wrapped a couple of the books That's fantastic. and I tucked them in the middle and you could still have the beautiful elements. I mean, these book covers are amazing, right? Yeah. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? And you could just bring in the color of whatever it is you want to bring in, you that know? That is and such then, a great idea. Yeah. And then I also yeah. switch them out for the seasons because the titles, I was just telling you, I like to, for like the Halloween season, I bring out old Nancy Drew stuff, oh. which was, it's fun That's to so see it or Sherlock Holmes or some fun things like that, you know, just to see it there. Totally fun. I know my boys <laughs> and my my family doesn't notice it, but I know it's there. <laughs> and sometimes that's what decorating is about, is it just that somebody feels, yeah, that little bit of joy. And so I just, yeah, I'm becoming obsessed with finding different book mm -hmm. color covers and then just kind of putting, so you could put a candle up there if you wanted. Yep. And then just, I have a thing for birds. I don't know. They just, to me, they're always a happy thing. So whether you do it in spring or winter or f summer, it just, I like to have different kinds of birds. Um, and, you know, these are easy to hunt out. Ross, Target, right. Home Goods. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. pretty much everyone has some type of, you know, bird available. Yeah. And then I've started to um, just collecting stuff outdoors. I had like a piece of burl wood or like this is a, just a beautiful pine cone and it helps me think of like where I was this summer and just oh, anyway, great. kind of or fun. Driftwood that yeah. or a seashell or yeah. for the summer. Yep. Right. Yeah. And right. I like this too, cause it gives some height. Yeah. So when we start talking about just not home decor, but like staging, it brings all those elements like you guys were talking about. You could mix up the colors, oh, yeah. give it a little height. I've done this on um, footstools sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, when you just need something extra in the picture. Yeah. Right. Um, I've done it on the ed end of a bed with some glasses and nice. a book and a coffee nice. mug. Yes. So you can kind of play with it a little but bit. Sometimes your, ha your lamp just isn't the right height. Exactly. And so I like stick a bunch of books That's and right. voila, you exactly. don't have to buy a new lamp. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, it's a little pop of mm -hmm. yeah, the staging, yeah. the staging pop. It's just which such is a homey look. I kind love of that. Fun yeah. To look for that. And then you had a third one too, right? Yes, yes. I like this. This is very okay. So Never this bird is bird again. Oh, this Sorry. is actually yeah. This is what's in my house right now, actually, but. So again, these are just like a green, like I found a stem, you know, that matches like a candle color. Um, and then I, actually this is kind of a blue gray. Mm -hmm. And so you could also do blue candle with it or, or change this part out, yeah. um, but kind of monochromatic. And then you can, you know, add different pieces of color in it. But I just thought um, you could take the cover off if you wanted to. I just kind of like the candles. They make such beautiful packaging mm -hmm. for candles nowadays. And right? I can smell it from here. How oh, it does. Oh, it yeah. It smells beautiful. Yeah, isn't oh, that? that's so nice. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, I love the way that they have started to make these candles, like, all in their own little package. So, again, and it's the color, the books, and just kind of. And really, you can mix and match and arrange these in any way that you wanted and keep it fresh. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, sometimes if I'm really, like, I get lost for an idea, then I'll just put in fresh flowers, like in that, you know, ceramic. Yeah. And fresh flowers are always easy to yeah. stage with and, yeah. you know, make a room look look alive to have some greenery yeah. in it. So, This yeah. is great. Well, thanks yeah. for all the tips. That was fun. Yeah, so the challenge is take, you know, see what you have at home, make a little vignette. Um, and then mix it up, have some fun with it, add some color, Ch you know, because you can change the whole feeling of a room with just a couple of items. Yeah, I think, I think so. So yeah, let us know if you have some things you'd love to share. Yeah. I'm, we're always about it. And I mean, Goodwill is a good place to hunt yeah. out some books, um, old books or garage sales, or if you happen to know someone that's selling their house, right. sometimes they have a lot of books that they are ready, ready to pass on. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah.